Each week we bring you stories of athletes who inspire us. Rico Flores Jr. from Folsom High School is one of the most sought after receivers in the country. Our Parker Ream met up with Rico to find out exactly why he is on a roll in the world that he's in. There is a star shining bright at Folsom High School. And if you didn't know, allow me to introduce you. Ladies and gentlemen, Rico Flores Jr. The highlights show that Rico has been on a roll. You think you're the best receiver in California? No cockiness? Yeah. It's safe to say the numbers back that up. Rico made varsity as a freshman and has straight up dominated since. He tallied 86 receptions to go along with 24 touchdowns in just 22 games. I mean, the kid is averaging a touchdown every 3.4 receptions this season. Not too shabby. The offer list is not bad either. Um, I visited LSU, Texas, Texas A&M, USC, UCLA, and Stanford this summer. And that isn't even the full list. Rico is a four-star athlete that has offers from schools like Alabama, Oregon, and Georgia, among 21 others. It's safe to say that Flores will one day have a future role in an NFL team's success. I just play football. I don't even talk like that. I just play the game, get the job done, take care of business. You never trash talk? Not really, nah. Yeah. I feel like I just let my play do it for itself. Rico's role on the field was decided at a young age. Just ball out. But his role off the field had yet to be seen. When I moved to the North Sac when I was three, that's when I just like really seen it day to day basis. I got family members that in the streets, family members, the drug, uh, like drug addicts, all of the above. So my mom just made sure like I don't fall down their paths. Growing up without a dad, Rico's mom, Erin, assumed the role of a mother and a father. That's a tough task for anybody. I mean, she had me young. She's a great mom, though. She do everything out of love. She do everything that she can provide. And I'm very glad. I'm very glad I got the mom I got today. With Aaron's role being to support her family financially as a single mom, she turned to Rico's godfather, Lem, to keep Rico focused on football and away from the distractions. Um, and when his mom brought him, you know, she introduced me to little Rico. Um, told me that he, you know, he loved football. But I remember asking him, "Are you good?" And he's like. Yes. And I'm like, how good are you? And he's like, I'm real good. And I'm like, well, I'll be the judge of that. Rico kept the motivation that he wouldn't fall into the same habits as some of the people he grew up with as he worked on his path to the NFL. My mom always tells me not like when I was little, she said, don't become a st statistic. I want to be different from everybody else. I want to actually go somewhere, make it out of Sacramento, go somewhere in my future. And take care of my family because that is priority number one with no stretch of imagination his his ultimate goal is to make sure his mom doesn't have to work uh, one day a day in her life with Lem's help Rico now has that opportunity to get out of the environment he grew up in as his college decision approaches Rico's getting into a point where his life is uh you know he's gonna have a lot of hard decisions to make right and a lot of hard choices to make uh, because the better you are the hard of those decisions and those choices because he still has a lot, a lot of stuff that he needs, stories that he needs to write. So it's just one of those things. The job's not done, but Rico knows what he'll do once he secures a NIL deal or that elusive NFL contract. My first big check, like big, huge check, give it back to my mom. One thing is for sure. He is well on his way to accomplishing that goal. And if after all that, you still don't believe me, well, just ask his team. What do you guys think? He's a decent player? Thank you, Parker. Rico says he is fortunate to be in this position and is determined to not let his chance go to waste.